In this video I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Creative Sin Micro MP3 player. The tools I'll be using in this video are um, a 1.5 millimeter flathead screwdriver and a uh, number 00 Phillips screwdriver. You can use similar things like a, uh, a jackknife or um, if you happen to have some uh, jewelry screwdrivers or uh, glasses screwdrivers, you can use those. The first step in disassembling your Creative Zen Micro Player is to remove the battery cover and the battery. The next thing you'll need to do is push down the metal back plate on the back. You'll hear a a clip or a, a clicking noise when it goes down. Then you'll need to remove the top plastic piece and it's held on with a little bit of glue. So not very much resistance there. Just comes off pretty easy. Now there are two screws on the top here so you'll need to find a screwdriver that can fit in those grooves. You don't want to use um, one of those regular big Phillips screwdrivers because they will not work. Now you'll need to remove the white back piece from the main body of the Zen by pushing on the bottom like this and it just comes out pretty easy. Now if you have headphone jack issues such as um, sound comes out of only one ear or you get a lot of static or no sound at all, um, what you'll need to do is re-solder your headphone jack because most likely what has happened is the uh, connections have become loose so you'll need to unscrew the daughter board from the casing remove the metal jacket and now you'll see the daughter board which has the headphone jack and the battery terminals. The headphone jack is a surface mount component connected by four legs soldered onto the daughter board. You'll see two legs on the left side here and two legs on the right side here. Now one of them, or, or possibly more, will be loose and you'll need to apply solder and re-solder these legs. and that should fix your headphone jack problems and you should be able to get sound in both ears at that point or no more background static or whatever issues you're having there and then just put it back together once you're done Now if you're having uh, other problems with your Zen Micro such as it powers up to the welcome screen, the creative logo screen, but it doesn't go any further and it just freezes at that point, um, most likely what has happened is your battery is damaged and needs to be replaced. So I'm going to show you how to access the hard drive. You need to pop off the back metal casing. And now you'll see that the motherboard is connected and held on by these six tabs. The top four are plastic and the bottom two are metal. 
So you'll need to gently pull those back in order to release the motherboard. My advice to you would be to go slowly because you don't want to accidentally hit one of these chips on the motherboard with your um, screwdriver or otherwise damage the board. It's very delicate. Okay. And uh, now you'll see that there's a flex cable right here which connects um, the screen to the motherboard. You'll just need to gently pry it off. It just pops off pretty easy just like that. And then to get the hard drive out of the metal casing just apply a little bit of pressure on the corner with your screwdriver and it just pops right out. Now we have the motherboard and hard drive assembly. So to remove your hard drive from the hard drive connector cable, gently ap apply pressure to the edges of the cable, a little bit at a time. And you'll want to grasp your hard drive on the sides like I'm doing to reduce pressure. Last thing you want to do is apply pressure in the middle of your hard drive because um, You'll smash the uh, um, the disc in there, and then you'll definitely have damaged it by then. Okay, so we have now completely disassembled the Zen Micro. And if your pixel, if your uh, screen has dead pixels or lines on the screen, you can just gently pull the screen out like this. It just pops right out, pretty easy. Remove the dust, put it back in. And there you go.